Hi guys, in today's video I'm doing some product updates for you. I got some products recently, like in the last couple months, that I've done like a first impression slash review and I'm gonna let you know what do I think about it. Natasha Denona uh, face primer and that is uh, the hydrating one. Uh, it's um, a thick uh, primer with a mousse kind of like texture that is beautiful for a uh, normal to dry skin It just gives you that beautiful hydration and your skin feels like it had a glass of water literally It's beautiful. I like this because you feel hydrated but not greasy and it gives that just like Kind of like makes your face look better. If you're dry, this is a must The other thing I like about I like about that it just your face looks like less red and it gives, it gives you that glow. Highly recommended and I will definitely buy that in the future. I have a fair hair foundation. Now on that. This guys is my second package. And probably you're wondering what, what you used already one foundation from the last time you've done the demo. Like what for five, six weeks or so. Uh, no. Firstly I got the foundation with a glowing skin system that um, you know I showed you. And um, the foundation, I used it probably three or four times and it was all gone. I kid you not, it was all gone. It has a pump and I was trying to squeeze it, it was all gone. And I'm like, that can't be right. So I checked, it was like uh, 30 ml, 1.1 fluid ounces. And I'm like, that can't be right. I contacted Beautylist where I got it. And I just said, guys, you know, I just used that uh, foundation three, four times and it's just gone. They said, have you tried to squeeze it and pump it? I'm like, I've tried everything, it's gone, like that can't be right. And anyway, they sent me a new one and that was really nice of them. And that the, this is the new one. And these guys I've been using for the last weeks again, maybe six, I don't know, um, for almost every day. And it's like, I don't know if you see it, it's like, again, it's like the half of it gone. like. I don't know it feels like it's gone um I don't like the fact that I don't know how much they put in this uh, foundation but it doesn't feel like 30 ml for me I don't know if it's the packaging but that was my experience with the first packaging anyway besides that um, this is the foundation it's like a thick cream kind of like a texture and the shade I've got mine is like 20 and it's pretty good match for my skin. I like the fact that the foundation is glowy. One thing bear in mind in this foundation, guys, the coverage is light. The coverage is very light. Um, it's not medium, it's just light. For me, I would put it equivalent with a tinted moisturizer. It's not like a foundation that if you have something to cover, that you will feel confident that it will cover it. It won't. It's like a light coverage like a tinted moisturizer i don't know i'm in two minds uh, with this product if i want to go out for a night out i'm not going to use that product probably probably i'm going to use that product to go to the shops or when i want like a very light coverage i don't know if i will purchase in the future um take it that way i was really excited when i tried it but due to these facts i don't know natasha the northern uh, face glow cream simmer it looks like that guys it's um a simmering stick um, that product is beautiful um, I use it almost every day and I just put it here and um, all with my fingertips just put it all with a stippling brush and it has that beautiful like a rose gold light glow that mine is in a shade light and I know I like it and I like the packaging and it's really nice one thing I have to say, because now I have like a time, it's summer here in Australia, if you're really fair, that may be a little bit dark for you. Because sometimes, if I use a lot, if I'm heavy handed, it can, it can, it tend to like darken that area, which I don't want. But this, if I'm light headed, it's fine. So bear that in mind. I really like all, though, that product. Natasha Denona all over face and body simmer powder in one light. Firstly, I love the packaging and the mirror and the powder looks like that. And again, I have mine in light. And you see, I'm going to put it side by side with a stick. 
One thing I like with this powder guys, it's because it's not BAM in your face. You can build that product up and I really enjoy that sometimes. It's not like um, the Balm Mary Luminizer or the Becca highlighters where you know you put some and you're like whoa you're glowing. This is very subtle and I really like as a combo to put that on, to uh, on the bottom and that on top. So really love that product. Now the brush it says Natasha Denona, it's the number 16 and uh, obviously it's like the highlighting it's like a, a stippling kind of brush very very soft and you can use it as a highlighting brush it's okay i suppose it's not my favorite brush for a highlighters i like the, the the shape and i suppose i don't know you can use it as a maybe as a blush or as a contour maybe slider or as a bronzer i haven't used it for that i use it just for a highlighting it's okay it's a good brush, it's nothing special, it's not my favorite. My favorite brush for highlighting is the Wayne Goes All To, which I use almost daily. So it's okay, nothing special. The body glow, again in the shade light, and it looks like that. That is like, like a simmer for your body. Um, it's really nice, it doesn't stain your clothes, and um, I, I enjoy it, but I would say that it's, it's a little bit expensive for what it is. Because let's face it, I could use like something like a, like a simmery oil. The NUX does one that calls Prodigy, which is really nice it, and it's half the price of that. But if you have the money, it's a good one because it doesn't stain your clothes and it gives you that subtle glow. And then again, guys, it's subtle. It's not like, whoa, you have glitter in your body kind of thing. The Charlotte Tilbury stuff. And we'll start with a Magic Eye Rescue Knife, like a, a first impression and review video, which I'm going to link below. Looks like that, and it's an eye cream. But this is only my opinion, guys, and we're all different. Uh, I have to say that uh, this product, although it feels nice underneath the eyes, I didn't see any improvement, I didn't see anything special. Um, it's just an okay eye cream, but for the price, I was expecting more. Bear that in mind guys that I have dry skin and because that didn't work for me that doesn't mean that it won't work for you. And all my reviews are honest so I have to tell you the truth and also I don't like the saying that the product didn't work and I love Charlotte's products as you see I have a ton. This for me this eye rescue I'm afraid to say it was like average. It, it didn't. I didn't see any improvement. It, it felt okay but to be honest it didn't feel that hydrated. So I'm really really sorry but I'm not gonna repurchase this product. If it did work for you, that's great. Um, but for me, it didn't work. My favorite eye creams is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye which is really hydrated and the Sunday Riley Start Over which that I see results. So sorry. And Charlotte Tilbury, it's the Magic Foundation. And guys, I've been using that daily in conjunction with that so I can test it. And one thing I have to say, I love this. I really love this. Uh, this is Charlotte's like a full coverage foundation. For me, I would say it's a medium coverage, not full coverage. The finishing is like a matte, satiny matte. I can't describe it, but it's beautiful. It looks flawless. Uh, it hides your pores. Uh, it lasts all day and it feels that you have nothing on. So I really love this foundation and then definitely I will repurchase in the future. Bear that guys in mind that I have dry skin and I don't know how that product will uh, perform with someone with oily skin. And I mean, you see, like products from the same line. I didn't like that. I love that. Because so lightweight, it's just, just beautiful. And uh, it reminds me a little bit of the Born This Way foundation, how it applies, but this is 100 times better. Charlotte Tilbury uh, Mini Miracle I Want looks like that, guys. And I like this because it's a versatile program. Uh, pro program, of course. It's a versatile product. It has an eye cream from um, this um, side, which is beautiful. I, I prefer this eye cream than this, to be honest. This eye cream is more lightweight and it feels, it just makes you feel better than this. And it has like a light refle reflector from the other side. If you get that product for a concealer, this is not for you. Uh, this is a light reflector, kind of like to Cla with a little bit more coverage. That's what it is. So it has the eye cream of that and the light reflector of uh, this side. I like that more than Charlotte's Retoucher. It's the Josie Maran Argan Daily Moisturizer Treat and Transform with SPF 47. Now, this product, guys, I used to love. 
is a daily moisturizer tinted and uh, it has SPF 47 which is fantastic looks like that I love the packaging and I love the coverage look at the coverage isn't that beautiful and again that gives you that beautiful like glow that and that for me it's the similar coverage maybe tiny bit more for that so you get the point so this product here I used to love and when I say I used to love I used to wear it or every day to go to the shops lately it started breaking me out and I'm not talking about like a, a small pimple I'm talking about huge things and I don't know what to do and um, I don't know how and why it started breaking me out but it does so I don't know you know I used to love it uh, it performed very well but lately due to the fact that it started breaking me out I have to stop using it and I'm really sad so sorry about that if you watch my videos you would see a video that I have the whimsical wonder Christmas package that Josie had one of these packets had that mascara of hers the black oil mascara which I was so excited to try and the mascara looks like that the wound they has it has like a five ball wand something like that and it uh, apply it's a very dark mascara and a couple of things that I find the wand is quite big it's very large sometimes you can get and like see the point uh, you can put mascara all over your face because of that and uh, also it's very it's a little bit difficult to apply this mascara for in the lower lash one thing uh, that mascara claims that um, you will see 10 times longer eyelashes that wasn't the case for me it applies very well after two three minutes my eyelashes they went straight down and when I say straight down straight down you know with the most of mascaras they stay at least a little bit up but with this went straight down so I didn't see the 10, 10 times the volume I am um, my eyelashes went straight down and also it claims that uh, if you use it every day you have less less last loss um, I didn't see that as well guys and I using it from since before Christmas when I got it so uh, I didn't really like it and um, again I really love Josh's products I adore Josh's products I have a full collection but I have to let you know for the products that I didn't perform coconut watercolor eyeshadows and they look like that it's like a cream eyeshadow from coconut like a liquid eyeshadow from coconut you can shake it or you don't it's the same it has a doe foot applicator and I have mine in um, Rio de Rose gold and in beach sand it looks like that beautiful colors and what can I say guys this I love I adore it's beautiful firstly I really love the colors but besides that the applicator is so good and it's so handy I don't know if you see you can get like in just in the inner corners and in the crease it's very benty I don't know if you're able to see it's very benty flexible and you can get it just right in there and outside it is beautiful not only the colors are amazing as you see not only they are pigmented but they stay a long long time the other thing I love it's really refreshing in your eyes and if you're like you know um, older and you have fine lines I would highly suggest them um, you know that uh, product the cream product it doesn't settle and it feels like very moisturizing the color is like BAM in your face you know it's beautiful it's like that beautiful Rio de Rose gold and that bit sand it's just like it feels like a sort of like a wet kind of feeling and um, I love them doesn't crease stay all day very easy to apply highly pigmented color and I would say it's one of my favorite uh, like creamy liquid eyeshadows and that is a very big statement for me very bold statement so win-win these thumbs up big time that's all guys thank you so much for watching and you know the drill thumbs up subscribe and comment and whatever you know just say hi you know I really appreciate your comments thank you so much for your support and your everything love you so much see you in my next video Mwah. bye